All right, we're going. It's been a minute, but we're going. Editing Raiden's probably going to have some fun just uh, editing a lot of that out. Okay, so do I just go straight? I can go straight across right here and I can find the first one. I'm not used to having missions in these games. Or in this game. Twigs are great because you can make tinder plugs with them, I think. I think that's a thing. Looks like there's some climbers rope right there. Well, let's climb it. I mean, it's frozen. This will take 14 minutes. Let's let's take it. Okay, so let's go up. These are always fun. We need to head off back over here. She's getting tired. Well, we do have an axe on us, so if we need to chop up some wood, we can. Well, we just picked up some deer meat, so we've got food. be okay. Alright, so we are heading in the right direction. Astrid doesn't seem as prone to spraining her ankle as Mackenzie does. Oh, there's a bear. So we're just kind of in the thick of it now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to aim properly, but Nope. But I'm starting to get the feel for it. There's a little cave over there. Wonder if it belongs to the bear. Heck yeah, who am I to look a gift gift horse in the mouth? All right, let's uh, start this. I'm gonna use accelerant because I have it. What's in the backpack? Is there stuff? 
something out there hunting us. Didn't even see him coming. Thought we lost the hacks down low by the road. Eyes open, fellas. Or we'll never get out of here. Okay. What's in here? Well, I don't want to not use the heat that I have. Do I, if I don't warm up soon. Um, are all of my clothes just like, no wonder I'm so cold. I'm not even wearing pants. <laughs> I just realized I'm not even wearing pants. Because my pants are ruined. My jacket's ruined. Oh boy. Might as well just harvest the stuff. Okay. Let's move on. Well, I was wondering why I was dying so quickly, and now I know. Oh, so cold. Basically have nothing, and I'm trying to do a quest. So, we're going to abandon this for the time being. We're going to head back down this way. Try not to get attacked by another dog. Don't make the smartest decisions in this game. It would probably be better to just head straight to the town. That would have probably been the better option. Do the quest when you actually have pants. You know, like like a smart person, but we're, we're not the smartest. I think if I just keep following this road, I'll end up in town anyway. So. Yeah, how's our health doing? Are we... Are we We're probably going to die. We also need to sleep soon. It's just getting colder. And Molly locked me out of her house. Out in the cold. I, was, I wasn't doing too bad. Right when I say that, my, my health goes red. I shouldn't even... I shouldn't even talk about my health. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm starting to stumble. Can I make a... F is there a fire available to me? Let me just try to make a fire real quick. And stay by it. Warm up a little bit. This is like all I got. Okay, well. Got a little bit of fuel in it. Is there any fuel out here that I can just add to it? And there's a there's a little bit of fire right there. Oh gosh, I just need to get back to the fire. Let's 
try to warm up. Oh gosh, this isn't going to do anything. She can't even stand straight. We just got to keep going. We got to press on. Oh yeah, I think I think this is the end of the road. Yeah. She's uh she's stumbling around all over the place. This game doesn't mess around, man. Keep going. But their health is going to start going down soon. Okay. I'm hoping we make it. I might put down a fire just for the emergency. Do I have uh, tinder plugs? I think I think I do have tinder plugs. Let me let me just double check. Yeah, I can make an emergency fire, but it's not going to be much. Like if I had some like actual cedar logs or or wood that lasts like an hour or so. That would be a lot better. I guess I'm just gonna have to hope that uh, that my, I have enough health. Wish me luck, guys. I'm actually kind of stressed. How far out are we? Okay, we've got a right turn coming up, and when the when we hit the right turn, we're pretty pretty much there. And we're going downhill soon. Oh yeah, let's move faster. Use that downhill momentum. As long as I don't hit red health, I should be okay. We're getting closer. I don't even have to, uh, I probably just cut through here. I don't have to go the whole way. These could be useful because I can get a bit more of life into my fire. Is that a dead body? Or is that just a rock? I see fire over there. Yeah, I see fire over there. Smoke. Maybe that community hall from the flyer. I could use some fire right about now. For more info, 
investigate the community hall. Can I warm up first? Like, just a little bit? Are you telling me this doesn't give me any heat? What? What is that? Okay, well, at least I'm warming up in here. I love orange soda. Parnell was out checking road conditions for his next delivery and saw some of those tree speaker maniacs lurking near the highway passes in and out of the valley. He wasn't sure what they were doing, but we need to stay vigilant. There's a lot of people coughing in here. Well, this stuff will come in handy. That will come in a lot of handy. Magnifying glasses are great. I think they're really good for making fires. Oh, hey, look at that. Fall range. Oh, I can't equip this here? Okay, well. Already got a ply bar. Why is everybody coughing? Wool socks. Hopefully that warms me up a little bit better. Local legend Sasquatch. Suing kit. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Let me just like repair some stuff real quick. I gotta repair what I got on because if I don't repair it, it's gonna break. And if it breaks, well, it's gonna be no happy fun times. What, what, what do we got in our inventory that... Okay, so we're going to harvest that. We're going to harvest what's already broken. And, uh... What happens if our pants fall off? Like... I guess she would just be in her sk skivvies, you know? God, imagine running around in just, just your underwear. So let's do a repair. Let's repair these boots because we don't want to be walking around without boots. Well, we have done what we can. Let's try to repair my socks a little bit. I'll take any bit of, a bit of warmth that I can get right now. Because I don't have anything. Honestly, why am I not wearing both of those? Okay, I need something to drink. Before I t even talk to him, I'm gonna like look around. Maybe there's a stove. Cool. Well, I hope nobody needs this anymore. I feel like there are people that need this, but whatever. I don't know why I'm expecting to find clothes in the kitchen. Says she needs to eat soon and I'm raiding the kitchen, so... I've seen an energy bar right there. Now those are wood matches, I guess. Thank you. 
hunting knife. Heck yeah, that'll make it a little bit faster to do things. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire, warm up a bit. The crash site? How did you know about the... The crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffered from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, I'm far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. Don't you remember? Listen, I, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Well, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crashed? The passenger airliner, best I can tell. Most of the people who arrived were too weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, Whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? What is this place? This is the old community hall in Thompson's Crossing. We gathered people here when the weather started turning bad. Three, or was it four days ago? The houses became too cold. And it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. Then yesterday, <coughs> the crash survivors started showing up. How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We get some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But I mean, it's worse than usual? Yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. I'm afraid we're stuck here until the road's clear. Will someone come to check on the town? Clear the roads so you can get out? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But... What will happen to all these people? Honestly, I'm not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. And this time of year, there's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. The best thing we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. You seem disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. Maybe you can help us. I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to start. Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back. We can try to figure out what can be done for them? <laughs> okay, let's check out these survivors. He just needed some water. Let me have a look, okay? 
but he needs insulin. Let's see what's wrong here. No treatment required. This needs bed rest. Got a concussion, he'll be okay. This might be serious. Concussion. Let's see what's wrong here. Okay, so one person needs in insulin. Survivors, most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold and also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need, but there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. <coughs> no, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die. Well, then we need to find some. And soon, before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside. I need to remain with the survivors, minister to them. But you, you can go and look for the medicine they need. I will. Any suggestions you have would be very useful. Most of the surrounding houses will be empty, but you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. Well, how will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay. You keep an eye on everyone and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. Yes? Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're broken hearted, worried sick about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit is more my domain. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, that will help to start their healing process. Yes, it's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. If you encounter any artifacts, any information that would help to identify those who did not survive the crash, that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls. Then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In turn, take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm, I'm not religious.
just please keep it. It's not for you. Please humor me. I I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. <coughs> Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site, it would bring an old priest some comfort. It will be the closest thing to my being able to pray for them. I mean, no disrespect, Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. <coughs> All right, we gotta go to this crash site. But first, I'm gonna search for some pants. Is there pants back here? I need some pants. Minister, can I have your pants? Far, yeah, but there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You're heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? You risked your life to come here to help some sick people. You came to help me when I was stuck in the barn. You're a doctor. You're not gonna leave a bunch of crash survivors to die in the cold. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> I wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? I don't think you'll find anyone alive out there. <laughs> Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well, I left you a little present. Is it pants? Look, I'm not sure. Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. But if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. Thanks, I guess. Better be pants. For those wolves. I hope it's pants. Okay, let me just make sure that I drop things that I don't need. Um, but I pretty much need everything. I, I don't need any of that. Um, I do need to eat something. I'm, I'm gonna risk it. It's 33%. I'm gonna risk it. The mic is sick, but I need the food. Okay. Sedan by the swing set. Blue sedan by the swing set. Timberwolf morale. Timberwolf backside morale indicated by the meter. Timberwolf morale can be broken by shooting or throwing things at them. Packs with broken morale will free, but they will return once they recover. Swing set. It said blue sedan by the swing set. Oh man, that's so far away. I need pants. Oh. Okay, so it's over here. Are they still coming? Marine flare. Wasn't pants.
there anything else in here? What's so special about a marine flare? Also, I'm gonna look around for a bit. Just because I need pants. Um. Is there pants in here? No, but there's mittens. Can I repair those mittens too? Yeah, let's repair those. That'll, that'll help a little bit. Um, okay, drank that. Um, incense, okay. Scarf. That's warmer. That's warmer, okay. Alright. Hopefully, I wonder if the Timberwolves are still out there. Yeah, you better run. I really don't want to waste it, but oh well. So I guess she put that in there for the Timberwolves. I guess that scared him off. So anytime that they show up, I should just get get that out and get ready. Okay. Is there food in here? Maybe. I think I can use this. Yeah, I, I can use that. I'll eat that. Me some clothing. Thank you. I need some clothes. Is there any pants? Is, is there any pants in here? <gasps> we found pants. We did it, guys. We did it. We got some pants. So we won't freeze our butts off. Literally. We got another sewing kit so we can repair said pants. We got some water. We're doing great. It's a, it's a good day. It's a good day. This stuff will come in handy. We got some socks. Okay. So now that we've actually got some pants, let's repair them. We might spend the night here.
Okay. Oh, is there more in here? Nope. Okay, on to the next house. We're, we're looking okay. We're looking okay right now. I got my flares out, my flares ready. It's kind of cold out here. Wind chill is minus 18. That's really cold. Let's go over here. Check out this building. This will come in handy. Yeah, those will help me repair my boots. Spot to make a fire out back. Yeah, we're getting so much food. Energy drink. Accelerant, lantern fuel. Lots of good stuff. I'll take it. Yeah. Hold on to that. more pants. I'm so excited about it. Rifle cartridge. Oh, I didn't notice you there. Okay, let's these so I can fix up my boots okay let's fix up my boots at least somewhat fix them up Fix them up some more. Okay, they're they're in a little bit, a little bit better condition. Let's repair up these pants because they're they're what I've got right now. Kinda warmer than nothing, but boy, I wish I had I wish I had some more stuff, but you work with what you got. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.